Hi, I'm here with Satish Thomas from the Dynamics 365 team to talk about Dynamics 365 Customer Insights, which is the newest member of the Dynamics family. And this product has been fundamentally motivated by what we heard from customers. Uh, how can they overcome uh, their data silos, especially as it relates to customer data. If you think about any enterprise, the number of different places where they have customer data is something that they want to be able to bring together in one holistic uh, repository and profile. And similarly, they also want to be able to actually get insights and take action while preserving the privacy uh, and all the protections around security and privacy for the customer. So maybe, Satish, you want to talk us, uh, through this product and what it does? Yep. Thank you, Satya. So I'm going to talk about customer insights in the context of a customer uh, that we've been working very closely with, uh, Tivoli Gardens. Oh, yeah. Um, so Tivoli is the second oldest amusement park in the world, uh, having opened in 1843 in Copenhagen, okay. Denmark. Um, so they get over 4 million visitors every year. So in the entertainment and amusement park space, obviously, driving uh, immersive and engaging customer experiences is a top priority. And of course, getting more loyal customers. So Tivoli's goal was to bring together all of their customer data, generate intelligent insights on top of it, and use that to deliver exceptional customer experiences. And of course, empower all their employees, be it in sales, service, or even folks work uh, dealing with vistas right in the theme park. And so how does that tool uh, work? And how do you bring all this data together? Yeah. So first of all, we bring in all, um, all the data into an Azure data lake. Mm -hmm. uh, and that is key, using our pre-built connectors. So having it in Azure ensures that they have full control over their data, and they can take full advantage of Microsoft's compliance and security uh, resources as well. And then, of course, they can connect all of that data to other Microsoft applications, third-party applications, and withdraw access at their discretion. And, and so when you have all of this data stored in Azure Data Lake, and then you want to get to these insights, mm -hmm. how does that work? Yeah. So the first thing you'll notice here is, first they needed to bring in all of their data. Mm -hmm. So what I'm showing you here is the pre-built connectors that are able to connect to on-prem sources and online sources. Got it. The next thing that happens is actually, obviously, the crux of the problem, which is unification. So this is where you have data from all these sources and how do you basically intelligently match that using recommendations from customer insights. And then on top of that, you can actually enrich it with AI and machine learning models from customer insights. AI is in some sense helping you unify the customer Absolutely, yeah. and this used to be a very tedious process that took a long time uh, by IT teams previously. Mm -hmm. And we've made that a very configurable and easy to use experience right here. Mm -hmm. That's fantastic. And now that you have this, what can I do with a unified customer profile yeah. or data? Yeah. So the next thing is now that you have this unified profile, you can actually do segmentation on top of this. Mm -hmm. Right? So in the case of Tivoli, they were able to build all these segments. One example is you know, customers that are likely to churn from Denmark, so they can more easily deeply analyze this and drive actions out of that. That's awesome. And then now say you have the segment, how does it work with the rest of Dynamics? Yeah, so from a Dynamics 365 perspective, a business user is able to see that full 360 view of the customer right within the application. Uh, so this could be within Dynamics 365 or any other application that they use for sales, service, or marketing. So for this theoretical customer that I'm showing here, Niels, uh, the inside sales rep is able to look at this information and provide that best, next, best action, which could be a promotional offer or a discount. So all of this, and with the unified customer profile at the core, truly enables everybody in an organization to deliver more personalized experiences, ultimately increasing customer loyalty. Oh, that's fantastic to see. And I mean, in, in some sense, what we've now done is made that process of creation of that unified data as well as insights. And I see you are showing Power BI yep. as well. Yeah. yeah. So on top of the unified profiles, you can actually build KPIs, uh, predictable measures. But one of our key differentiators is the fact that you can unlock all of this through the Power Platform. Mm -hmm. So one great example is how Tivoli used all of that unified data to do deeper churn analysis to figure out what are those key influencers that are causing the churn so they can go fix those and address it and drive the customer experience up. But it's not just uh, Power BI. It's also, we're very deeply integrated with the rest of the Power Platform. So whether it's to analyze with Power BI, as you can see here, or to act with Power Apps by building custom applications, or to automate and do customer journey orchestration with Microsoft Flow.
That's fantastic to see. I mean, this is an amazing example of how, I guess, any enterprise can build these digital feedback loops yep. uh, by first breaking down the silos, bringing them together, adding AI, and the ability to get insights in action. Uh, really excited about it. Where can people go uh, to really learn more about it? Yeah, so you can go to our website on the screen and you can get started right away. Thank you so much, Satish. Cool. Thank, Thank you. you.